Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar on this Tuesday afternoon or morning, depending on where you're joining us from. Um, I'm JC from Sierra, and we're super excited today um, to dig in with our special guest, Dustin Fox. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to make sure that um, tech check wise, everybody can hear us, everybody can um, see us on screen. So go ahead and drop in the Q&A and chat if you can hear us. And uh, I'll go ahead and introduce Dustin while we wait. Let's see. Yeah, they can hear. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. So we're super excited to have Dustin join us today. So Dustin is um, co-founder of the Fox Homes team with his lovely wife, Devin. Um, they are uh, CR users also. And so you've probably seen their names around in our communities or on our website, stuff like that. But Dustin is also um, a best-selling author of Six Weeks to Real Estate Success, which is a book that you guys have to read if you haven't gotten it. It's available on Amazon. We'll send out the link afterwards with the recording so you guys can purchase it. Um, but without further ado, I will go ahead and I'll hop off screen. I'll let Dustin and dig in and then um, make sure you submit your questions in the Q&A box. We can get those answered for you. Um, and then the, if there's any that you need afterwards, we'll go ahead and get those asked, answered post webinar. So take it away, Dustin. Thank you. Thank you for the lovely introduction and hello. I'm going to share my screen and get to some slides here. Uh, hold on one second. That is my messy desktop. All right, so I'm here to talk about becoming micro famous in three months. Um, a lot of us uh, with video, um, you know, we've heard about building an audience on YouTube, or it might take uh, like a hundred videos to really build, build an audience. Like, I don't really have a YouTube page. Uh, for my intent is not my end goal is not to get subscribers. My end goal is to find sellers. So you could go after buyers or sellers with the same strategy. But for me personally, and especially with with all the news, um, I'm really strongly seller focused. We're almost about 50 50 in terms of buyers and sellers as a team. Uh, we've done 400 million the last three years after just starting a team three years ago. So really proud of that. Um, but let me get started on this here. So if you guys want to scan this on Instagram, I'm sure they're going to send out an email with the slides. But if you want the slides, as soon as this is done, um, just send me a DM, um, say slides. My mini chat is down right now, so it, it might take uh, a couple of hours before I send you the slides, but I will get them over to you. And this is uh, the link to my book, Six Weeks to Real Estate Success. The, the goal of my book uh, and it's all written with Sierra in mind. So all of the content, all of the SEO stuff is all with and using all the tutorial videos or using Sierra. So my goal was read this chapter week one with a video series at the end that show you exactly step by step how to build your business and how we did it. This is a little bit about our team here. Um, I'm proud to say we are leading the country, I believe, in, in Google reviews with uh, 1,635 currently. We are licensed D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia, but about 60% of our business is in Northern Virginia. Um, husband and wife team. So how have the reviews helped us? Um, this is where we started when we were as a team, Dev, just me and Devin. And as we started growing and building the reviews out, this is also where our leads started taking off. And I, I know that this isn't the subject matter at hand, but I this is all stuff that's also in the book. And I want you guys to think about utilizing your reviews for your SEO, for any of your blog articles that you're writing in Sierra. So you can see here, if you, if you were to Google Washington, D.C. Metro housing market update or February update or March update, you're always going to see our blog towards the top. And it's because we have this Google review schema built in. So you might be looking at this and thinking, OK, I don't have 1635 reviews, so I'm not going to compete with you locally. Um, but I'm not writing a blog on every single possible subject and neither will you be. Um, and you can see if you Google any of this stuff, none of these big blog, none of these big companies 
are embedding their reviews into their articles. So even if you have 10, 15, or 25 uh, reviews on your Google business page, you can embed this in. And it's all in my book in the SEO chapter, step-by-step -step how to do it. It sounds technical, but it's actually super easy. But if, if I want you guys to take away one SEO tip from this, I want you to start adding your Google business page, Google review schema to every article you write on Sierra. So this is kind of where we were. I wish Google Search Console went back further than 16 months, but you can see 16 months ago, we already had Sierra before this. If I could show you what we had before Sierra, it was like impressions like less than 100 and clicks like one or two. So 16 months ago, we were at 40 clicks and 6,000 impressions, meaning like somebody seeing you in the search engine results page. Um, and where we are now, 147 clicks and 18,000 impressions. We would not be able to do that with Sierra. And the SEO chapter of my book is gonna walk you through exactly how we did it and how you can do it too. And the, the beautiful thing is, is you can learn it and then you can teach a VA how to do it for you. Um, and you can make it very cost-effective for your business. We've closed $24 million of the 170 that we closed in the last 12 months, um, 170 million. 24 million of that was just Google organic. So somebody coming in and looking, Googling a specific condo, building it. One of our agents a couple of months ago, Martina closed a $3 million cash sale in DC. So like, this is why you need to be putting this type of focus into this because these Google leads will come in organically for free. And it's free in the sense that you're not paying for that lead, but it's not free in the sense that it does take some work to make that happen. Um. So this is where we were before. Uh, this isn't before Sierra, but kind of like not too far after we had it. This is a two years ago. Um, you can see this is the Google local map pack. This is a website called Bright Local. You can see we were number one right where we are. But if you go outside of that, we were 21 plus. And after building these pages out, this is where we are now. And if somebody is Googling realtors near me, they're seeing us in the local in the Google local service ads at the top. And then they're seeing us in the local pack. And it's just getting more people into our website. So why YouTube? I was known as like the Facebook ads guru, Facebook and Instagram ad guru in our brokerage. I taught this class to a thousand agents multiple times. And I was running these ads. Um and for the seven or eight years I ran them, I never once had a client ever screenshot my Facebook or Instagram ad and text it to me and say, oh, my God, I just saw my house. Because to them and everybody in your sphere of influence, to them, it's just in their social media feed. They don't really connect that it's a sponsored ad. Whereas when you show up on somebody's TV screen, they will literally lose their mind. And I'll show you like screenshot proof later. But YouTube is 1.1 times more effective than TV and 1.8 times more effective than other digital offerings. And it's 84% more likely to receive viewers attention than traditional TV advertising. And you might be thinking like, I don't even get on YouTube that much. Um, I will promise you, I promise you, like your audience is seeing it a lot more than you think they are. And when I'm running these ads for sellers, I'm getting a lot of 55 plus downsized sellers. Um, and I know that they're on YouTube because my mother-in-law is sending me crazy conspiracy theory videos all the time. Um, and they allow you to go much more micro-targeted than Instagram does. As you guys know, Facebook and Instagram Meta's ads manager will only allow you to do a 15 mile radius. You can drop a pen on an address and it's minimum radius 15 miles. Whereas YouTube, you can say the city you live in or whatever city you're targeting. And you can specifically say homeowners or people that are shopping for a home or looking to purchase a home, um, any of this stuff. And I'm gonna get to everybody's questions when I, when I get here to the end. And there's a difference an attention between video platforms and pl platforms that happen to show video. So if it has full sight and sound, you know, when you're on Facebook and Instagram, you have to like click on it 
and turn the sound on for the sound to come on unless it's like a reel. And even on a reel, you have to like hit your volume button. So the ads are going to be a lot more effective on YouTube because they're immediately getting video and sound. And you can see like 2.7 times uh, better recall when it's audio and video versus audible only versus viewable only. So this was my big aha moment. I'm sitting on, um, I'm sitting in my downstairs in my basement and my 15 year old daughter who doesn't care about anything that I have to say or think is kind of gave me the aha. This commercial came on and I think this may be a national company. I can't believe how much money we saved on our floors at Luna. I guaranteed for life. But you guys might so recognize this song. Call Luna now for 70% off. 877 Luna. So I heard this and, I, and my daughter wasn't even looking up at the screen. She was on her phone and she just started singing the song without even looking up. And I said, you know, I wonder why real estate agents are not running direct response commercials on TV. So like when I say direct response, it means I'm putting this out and I want you to call me with a Chiron uh, of the phone number and the website here. Why aren't agents doing this? So when I heard her sing that, I'm like, okay, I need to make a direct response TV commercial. And I'm proud to say like, we were one of the first to do it. You may have seen any Tom Ferry clients, you may have seen Shane Bergman, and there's another woman that they've been showing. Um, we did it a couple months early, and I unfortunately didn't have the benefit of seeing how great theirs were because I think there's some of theirs, a lot of the stuff that they're doing is better than mine. I can't believe how much money oh, we saved on our. Whoops. Hold on. So that was my aha moment. And then this is the the uh video that i made so i wanted a commercial that was for where i live in centerville and it was only going to be shown to centerville homeowners are you looking to sell your centerville home we're averaging our centerville sellers twenty five thousand dollars more for their home i'm devin fox and i'm dustin fox we're the fox home team with our hgtv level video your home will be seen by a minimum of a hundred thousand potential buyers because our cinematic drone shot are epic and if they're buying in centerville they'll see your home no matter where they are no matter where they are no matter where they are that's probably why we have over a thousand five-star reviews on google which makes us the number one review team in the dmv so if you want results like that contact us today the fox home team selling centerville one home at a time so we made this and within a few months of just running this commercial, we got a come list me call. It was like uh, about a $950,000 sale in Centerville. So I said to my team, hey, we need to make this for each of your markets. Are you looking to sell so your- So now we have- On average, our sellers get- Our agents doing the same video in their specific city. With our HGTV stuff. And the idea is like each agent on our team has their own commercial and you want to make sure you don't have visions of grandeur and you're like, oh, I'm going to do like an entire metropolitan area because your ad is going to be too scattered and diffused. You need to pick a specific suburb city or city that you can continuously hit over and over and over again. And this is the type of reaction that you're going to get when you're running the ads. I tell everybody on my team within three to six months, you're going to have people coming up to you and saying like, oh my God, I'm seeing your video all the time. Your, your clients and your friends are going to take photos of their TV, their kids in front of their TV and saying like, oh my God, I just saw your TV commercial. Like they can't believe it um, because people, they just don't see people that they know on TV like that. And I know like for, for myself and my wife, um, like if she, we're going outside of Centerville where we live somewhere for dinner or just to run an errand, like she doesn't feel like she has to do like full hair and full makeup. But if we're in Centerville, she's always like looking presentable because she's expecting somebody to come up to her or somebody to look at her like they know her. And it happens over and over and over again.
And for any of you that are afraid of video, um, like I'm, I'm there with you. I actually cynically looked at all of everybody's videos, especially videos of people in their property in their listings. And I thought to myself, that's about you. That's not about the property. This is promoting you, not the property. And I'm a big split tester. I've been split testing Facebook ads for the last eight years. But when I split tested us in the video versus, well, I, I already had agents on our team that were running these videos and they were performing well. So Devin said it would be really hypocritical if you didn't do this yourself when you're praising like this is performing better. So I did a video of us in the property versus a standard walkthrough video versus a uh, like one minute social media type reel. And with us being in the video, it performed much better. So then it was like, okay, I've just been cynically looking at this because I'm honestly just afraid to do video. And it was a hard kind of come to Jesus moment for me that I had to face. Um, so which type of campaign should you run? Now you might be looking at this like thinking, oh my God, this is probably really complicated. Um, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do it and you're gonna have this recording and you're gonna be able to reference it later. It's in my book as well. Um, like the full strategy, not just with YouTube, but with SEO, with, with all of our advertising stuff. So you can do it yourself. You do not need to pay anyone to run these videos for you. I, I promise you, if you just watch this video, you're going to see that you can do it in like five, 10 minutes. So if views are your goal, so I'm going to walk you through like a view goal, um, how to tutorial um, with the skippable in stream video ad. Um, and th these are really great for listings. Like you have a time sensitive thing and you just want to get as many views on your listing as soon as possible. But if your goal is to get clicks to your website, target frequency is the better campaign. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but, but what target frequency does is skippable in stream says, this is my audience in my city. And I want as many views as possible during this two weeks or however long you're going to run this listing video for versus target frequency, it's going to say, my population is 79,000 people in Centerville. I want you to find the YouTube power users that are also homeowners. And you have three options. You can say, I want them to see my video two times a week, three times a week, or four times a week. And the whole rule of seven with uh, marketing is like, it takes somebody seven times before they make up their mind on whether or not they want to click or use you as an agent. So you're going to have that within two weeks with these people. They're going to be, and that's why these clicks are so much higher because they've seen the same ad over and over and over again. And I have found the videos that I find the, kind of the most irritating, um, are slightly annoying are the ones that are the most effective. And then there's call to action buttons that you can put at the bottom. Now this is for a uh, property video. So buy now um, is the most effective, then start now, then shop now, watch now, learn more, play now. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that. Um, now, before I show you guys, well, these are the, my 10 most effective video ads. You're gonna be able to click on these later on. And, and see examples. What I would recommend to you, Central homeowners, if you're saying this, it's on oh, shit. Um, I would hire the best videographer you can find, and like, don't go, um, don't go inexpensive on this. Get somebody with good quality because you have to think about the consumer side is going to be seeing this in 4K on their TV screen. So I know a lot of people are like, start with your phone and do this. That's great for social media, but I think for this you should invest in like a uh, like a really good videographer that's going to sit down and 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 get you this stuff. So these are my most effective ads. You guys can look at these later on. Um this is my commercial which is my fourth most effective ad. Um now this one we update every single month. So this is our market update and this is our third most effective ad. So our goal is to get in front of Centerville homeowners and specifically sellers. So this is being targeted to where we live with Centerville sellers. And it's just, it's just informative. Centerville homeowners, here's your market update in less than 60 seconds. Centerville is on fire. We continue to defy the market 
experts' predictions, and we're up 7.8% compared to last year. What's driving these price gains? Simple supply and demand economics. Active listings are down 54%. There's just not enough inventory to meet the buyer demand. So notable communities. Virginia Run is up 31%. Cables Mill is up 14.5%. And Sully Station is up 6.5%. The more modest gains include Little Rocky Run up 6.5%. Heritage Forest up 6.1% and Crofton Commons are up 3.1%. What does this mean for you? If you're planning on selling in the near future, you're going to be very pleased with high prices and more seller-friendly contingencies, if any. And if you're planning on staying put, great. Keep earning that equity. If you're looking to sell a home in Centerville, message the Fox Homes team today at foxwithsellfaster.com or call us direct at 703-927-1461. Centerville homeowners, here's your market update. So that's the market update. This is the number two most effective video ad. And in my book, um, we we talk about client Justin events. And Devin Fox sold my home in National Harbor and they were perfect, very analytical. Did such a great job that my next door neighbor also used them and sold her townhouse as well. I use Fox Home. I recommend Fox Home. I am a proponent of Fox Homes. Go Fox Homes. So a little trick on your client events on getting more of these video reviews um, is we always make it really big. So our client event is a big deal. Um, we have a ton of raffle gifts. They come in and this is in the client event section in the pillar section of my book, but they come in, you give them a raffle ticket. You say, you know, thank you so much. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Here's a raffle ticket just for coming in. We give every person in the family one raffle ticket. And then we say, oh, and by the way, if you end up leaving us a video review, we're going to give you two or three additional raffle tickets if you do a video review. And when they go down to the pavilion or wherever your stuff is, um, they see the table of all the raffle gifts. And I mean, we go hard in the paint. Like we have PS5, like crazy good raffle presents. The kids are gonna like bug their parents and say, I wanna win that, go do a video review. And our videographer always says the same thing. Like I have never had 25 people line up to do video testimonials. So like, these are great. Like people think, oh, I'm just gonna put them on my social media. Like those people already know, like, and trust you. Those are the least people that need to see these. Like. It's not enough to have a unique selling proposition like good video. You still have to sell it to the customer. And when I say sell it, I mean, you need to pay money to advertise it to the consumer. So it's kind of like a Gary V, like jab, jab, right hook. We like to do three jabs and a right hook. So we're running three of these videos every month. It's a market update. It's a testimonial, another educational piece type video. And then the fourth video we're running is our commercial. So like jab, 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 ask for their business. Um, that's the number two most effective. This is our client event video. Okay, I say we are the Fox Home team. They say welcome to Fox Farms. Three, two, one. We're the Fox Home team. We we love our experience with Grafade. You know, Denise helped us finding our what we wanted. Gunther was our real estate agent. Oh boy. So this is something that the whole team can get behind because it's specifically about specific team members. I'm not going to make you guys watch the whole video. Um, but this is our most number one performing video ad because it's just fun. Like we were at Spirit Halloween in the fall, and my wife was on the phone and I'm checking out, and she was she couldn't see the cashier because I'm in between them. She's behind me. And the cashier um, heard my wife's voice. And she was like, hold on a second, hold on a second. And she lost her mind. She was like, oh my God, me and my daughter um, and Miss Rachel, every morning we watch Miss Rachel and Devin comes on, you were trying to teach them like what to say. And they were messing it up. And I was like, I have no idea what she's talking about. And Devin was like, it's your client event video you're running the ad off of. And I was like, oh, got it. So like, you're going to get noticed really fast. Um, and I would say ideally like in a thousand, a thousand dollar a month budget, if you're running it in a specific city. So the commercial for 250 and the other three videos for 250 a piece also. Um, I don't know if I missed the second one. Oh no, yep, client event videos. So 
Uh, before I get into how to run the ad step by step, I'm going to see if you guys have any questions. Um, what company or service helps with getting your Google business page up to ask for reviews? So you don't need to pay anybody to get your Google business page up. You should just Google Google business page. They're going to make you like walk through your office or walk through your home office with a camera and set it up. But don't pay anybody to set up your Google business page. Um how is this going to be sent out? How long are the video ads? I like to keep them around a minute, but you can make them as long as two minutes. Um, and you could run, you could make a, a, a video ad very long. Like it can be 10, 20 minutes. You're only getting charged if it gets past the five seconds. Then it gets charged. If they, if they skip it, then you're not getting charged anything. Um, yes, you can run custom audiences and lookalike audiences on YouTube. So this is an important point, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Please remind me in the chat if I don't get to that, because you guys hear a lot of people talking about custom audiences on Facebook. This is much more impactful than that, because you hear people saying dollar a day or $2 a day or $5 a day on Facebook and Instagram. They just think it's your content. But when you take your database and you put it into to Google and you start running video ads and forcing everybody in your sphere um, to see your stuff, like they're going to think you're famous. Like everyone's going to reach out to you. They're going to take photos of your TV ads and think, you know, you're the most successful agent in, in the country. Um, how many YouTube leads do you cl close a month or a year? So I'm about on this. I'm about. I've only I've only closed four this year personally. Like our team has closed a lot more, uh, but I'm up about seventy five thousand dollars on a twenty five thousand dollar ad spend, David. So it's about a four x return for me. Um, and like where you say like a postcard, they tell you twelve to twenty four months before you see a return. I think you should see a return in six to twelve months. You're going to start getting noticed within three months, though. Um, yes, I also run Google PPC ads. That's in my book as well. Um, but I'm not counting that as, as closed business from David's questions. Um, did you say testimony education? Yeah. So there's, it's basically mostly it's commercial testimonial education, education, um, is, is the way that I like to do it. I think that's everybody. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right, let's get into how to do it. Give me one second. I'm getting the rainbow wheel of death. Here we go. So I got to share a portion of my screen because I can't have you see um, I can't have you see my Google ID. All right. So you should be able to see this now. So this is Google ads here. So if you Google Google ads, it's going to ask you for a credit card. You need to put a credit card in to start a Google ad campaign. You don't need to worry. They're not going to start charging you for anything. You can turn your ads off anytime, just like Facebook. Uh, be careful how much you're spending. Um, you know, you don't want to, like accidentally put in more than you were intended. So from campaigns here, I'm gonna hit this little plus button here and hit new campaign. And then these are the options, it says sales, leads, website traffic. And you're always gonna pick create a campaign without a goals guidance. And then you're gonna see down here, you're gonna choose video. Now, when you start running these ads, I promise you a Google rep is going to start calling you and saying like, let me talk to you. There's We've identified some areas that your ads could be better and they're going to try to steer you into this performance max. Just ignore them, ignore the calls. The reason why it's no different than uh, Facebook saying, uh, we recommend you doing automatic placements. They're trying to take your ad dollar and spread it across Facebook Marketplace, all of these things. And with Performance Max, they're trying to take your little video and put it in a banner ad above the Washington Post or some other website. And you don't want that. You want to be on people's phones all by yourself. You want to be on their TV and you want to be on their desktop uh, or tablet. So you don't want to run this ad. So let's go video. 
And then you can go video views, which is like the ad that we're going to run today. But if you did target frequency where you want them to see it two, three or four times because you want to get the most clicks, this is the route to go. But let's say um, let's go video ads here. And now we're going to name our campaign. So this one here, I'm, I'm running an Annandale. I'm running a video. Like this is a video that my wife and I just listed in Annandale. So I'm going to say, I'm going to run this for 500. But you could do like 250. Um, and then I'm going to say my, my open house ends on the 28th. So I'm going to run it to the 29th. And then you're going to click down here because it tries to hide this stuff. So you want to unclick Google Display Network because these guys here, again, they're trying to put you as a display ad, like at the top of the Washington Post or somewhere else. You want to be all by yourself. And that's not what Google wants, but that's okay. And then we're going to say um, the location. So I'm going to add Annandale. But because I'm always running ads to Centerville, like I want my Centerville audience to see this, uh, they're gonna get it too. So I have two cities here. You could do an entire county, it's up to you. You could go advanced search, but you see there's no circumference. If you put a zip code in, your ad may run, but it's most likely gonna get taken down. So for whatever reason, they allow you to put a city, but you can't put a zip code. So when you, like my, my city Centerville here has two zip codes in it, they're just, they're getting both. Um, you can also do a radius here around an area if you want, around a section, but I just like city specific. Now you're going to say related videos here. Google actually allows you to kind of help promote your other videos for free. So you want to click this and take advantage of this, click on related videos, and I'm going to go ahead and put in, um, I'm going to go ahead and put in some videos we've already done. Oh. Like a client testimonial, this one. Just some other videos that I wanna promote with this. And you can do up to five. So when, you're, when they're seeing your video, they're seeing other ones that might entice them to look at other stuff from you. Um, you're going to do, you're going to uncheck this multi-format. Uh, you don't want that. Um, you want to do additional settings. Now, here is where you can say, I want specific targeting devices and I only want TVs. Now, TV is going to give you the most impact, but the least amount of clicks because you have to imagine yourself watching TV at home. You're probably not going to click on the website on the TV. So I like to leave all devices on here. Um, but if you just wanted maximum impact, uh, just do TV screens only. And then here under audience segments, you can go, you would go browse who they are, detailed demographics, home ownership status, and homeowners. Um, like I'm not running it for homeowners here because um this is an ad that I'm advertising to sell the house. So here you could say um, what their interests in or what they're actively researching or planning in market. You could say real estate. So moving and relocation and residential properties, like people that are looking for this type of stuff. You could check. I'm not checking them now, but you can do that if you're looking for buyers. And then your actual video, I got to find it here. There we go. So we're saying skippable in stream ad. And then we're looking for the actual. One second here. I'm looking for the actual property address here. The website, this is my Sierra link for that page. And then I'm gonna say call to action. And we know the call to action that has had the highest clicks is buy now. 
So we're going to leave that so it looks like this. And then you can see how it looks on a computer and how it looks on a, on a TV. So on like a five hundred, a $250 ad spend, you're going to get about 12,000 views of your thing. On this one, I should get like 24 to uh, twenty four to 25,000 views because of the, because um, I'm spending $500. This is uh, six cents. Or, I'm sorry, if you, I would just do the recommended amount here where it says you can improve it by using a bid of six cents. So use the recommended amount and then you hit create campaign. Confirm that it's you. Give me one second. Got to go to Gmail. Confirm. There we go. So now my campaign is running. Um, so you go back to overview. Now let me show you guys how to create a custom audience here. If I can find it. Hmm. Give me one second here. Let me get some questions first. So and Google, can you put in your database so that everyone you know specifically sees you? Yes. I will say like my database, um, our team has a database of 80,000. My wife and I have a database of 40,000. So out of those 40,000 leads, only one out of four are actually the, the email address that's associated with their YouTube account. So whatever you have database, say you have 250 people, it's going to be about, you divide that by four and that's how many people will see it. Can these be, so good question, Jessica, on the unlisted stuff. Um, so the Centerville video is unlisted on our YouTube channel because I don't want our, when we're selling in DC, Maryland, everywhere in Virginia, I don't want our audience thinking, oh, they're the Centerville team because they have a Centerville commercial. So that, is, that video is unpublished. The center of a market update video is typically unlisted, not unpublished, I'm sorry, unlisted. Uh, but everything else education wise is published on our channel. Um, I don't have any guidance on how to set up conversion in Google Analytics uh, or to make sure Sierra attributes the source correctly. I'm not, I'm not kind of worried about that, Michael. Um, it might, it might help. Um, but you know, I know the ads are working because we're getting business from it. And, and so are our agents. Um, I, we have another agent that's running in South riding. Um, they've been running these ads for less than eight months and they have three listings from it. Um, give me one second. I'm trying to just get back to my main screen here. All right, so if you don't see this on the top of your Google ads, go to appearance and then go to the old style. So you want it where it says tools and settings here. If it doesn't say tools and settings, you want to go to appearance here. And where it says use new design, it should say use old design. So we're going to hit tools and settings. And then we're going to say audience manager here. So you can see here, these are some of my my client lists, you can see like the numbers here. So out of 45,000, it's really 12,000 people um, that I've added. I don't know why some of these are smaller than others, um, but to add an audience, you hit the plus button here. You're gonna say website or customer list, I'm sorry. And you're gonna, it says data source, upload of, upload a file manually, hit continue. And then you're gonna browse, upload your um, your CSV file of your database. Um, and it, it gives you, uh, it gives you a, a good tutorial. You can, it shows you view instructions here and it'll show you how they want the uh, Excel file to be used. 
you're going to say it was collected with with uh, in compliance with Google, uh, and then you're going to hit save and continue. Now to use that audience. You're going to go back to Google ads and you're going to say new campaign. Create a campaign without a goals guidance video, video views or target frequency. If you want the same people to see your ad to, well, let me sh show you this one. Cause you guys haven't seen it yet. Target frequency. And then you're going to say, I want them to see it two, three or four times. We're going to say, of course, four times. I don't know. I don't know how much ad fatigue they would get by seeing an ad for more like up to four times. I would take advantage of that. Um, so we'll say for the month, you could say two hundred fifty dollars. We'll run this for a month. And here you don't have to worry about a display network on a target frequency ad. They're only allowing you to run it on Google. Um, I'm going to take off Annandale because I'm only going to run it. Well, actually, here your customer database you would use it in the United States. No matter where they are, you want them to see it because they're already in your database. So you want them to see it. I mean, and you could do a radius around your house of like 50, 100 miles if you wanted to, if some of your database no longer lives there. So you're not wasting your ad spend. Here, you're going to add your related videos again, all like additional five videos, because why not? Um, and then on audience segments, once your audience is uploaded, it's going to take about... It says 48 hours. I found that it's like um, like two to five days before it shows up here. I don't know why it takes so long to match when like Facebooks is, are so fast. So be patient. Um, but here you're going to go down and you're going to see uh, client list, Dustin's client database, test audience, audience, Dustin's client list. So you just go to audience here and then you just scroll down until you see your database. Um, then you're going to put your YouTube video and then you're running it exactly the same as the other ads. Now it's going to tell you, um, it's going to tell you, hold on one second here. It's going to tell you that it's going to cost you more per view. Wait one second here. It's going to tell you it's going to cost you more per view. Well, it's not telling me that, but normally it does. It's going to tell you a higher amount. Just put whatever amount it tells you here. And that's how you run a custom audience ad. So let's see. Um, stop the share. Let me go to the questions. How do you add your database to Google? Okay, just did that. Um, do you think running ads will still be effective if you currently don't have any YouTube subscribers? Yes, actually, I don't have any YouTube subscribers. I have 300 and they all came from the book. I was never intending to build like an organic YouTube audience of like move to Centerville or like I'm not going and interviewing restaurant owners. Um, I'm not building an a, or, organic audience because I don't have the patience, frankly, to like make a hundred long form content videos. They say it, it's like something happens when you hit over a hundred. Um, I didn't really have the patience for that. Um, if you have the sweat equity, then obviously do that. Um, but you don't need subscribers. You're not putting it, your video in front of subscribers. You're putting it in front of people. Your subscribers are already going to get notifications from your videos. You're putting it in front of people that have not seen your video yet. Um, when you're when do you, when you do the target audience from your database, does that mean it only targets them and not others? No, it's not a stupid question, Atif. Um, yes, it only is showing it to that target audience. So like for my target audience, I have a DC Metro market update. They get the whole market update, not Centerville specific. Um, and I'm, but I'm still running that ad to other people also. I have my, my, my database that I'm trying to stay in front of. And then I have, my my other audiences yeah no you should try it, jay i mean it works um google recommends they send people to your business profile instead of your website after clicking on the ad do you always do your website anyways yeah i do because the the thing is it's like on my website um there's a there's a uh 
there's a third party application called lead posts or lead form. I'm trying to remember. It's either lead post or lead form. Um, it, if it's browsing, it's a, it's background, um, background stuff that you can put in, into your website that captures people's information. If they go to your website, even if they don't register with you. So they register with me, they've seen my video and then I can target them anyways. Um, how are you time blocking to record? Um, we do two hours. Our videographer does like, it's like $1,500 for like eight videos, but ours are a little bit more expensive because we get them horizontal and vertical. Most agents just get them vertical for social media, but you have to keep in mind that your social media audience is like only 20% of your audience actually sees your social media posts, uh, on a good day. Um, versus you can force everybody to see your YouTube stuff. And when you get it horizontal and you put it on YouTube, you can embed it in your weekly email newsletter. That's another big chapter in my book of like how to maximize your email newsletter. Um, but we only do it. Um, we only do it for two hours a month. That's it. Now the other videos, like when we have a property to sell, that's like a whole three other three hour other video that we're working with a different videographer with. Um, but that is, that is it in that regard. Any other questions that I get everybody's? Let me go back here on a one second. And Dustin, I can hop on here. I've been taking notes in the chat. Okay. box as well um yeah, let's see yeah, give me one give me one second here yeah sure so you know these these were my most effective ones you guys will be able to click on these um and then this is the book again here's the um here's the qr code where i kind of walk through all of this stuff I can promise you everything sounds technical. Everything sounds like it's very difficult. You just needed a little practice. It's like you have to imagine when you had your learner's permit and you're in driver's ed and you're like, I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm going to kill someone. Um, like you have to like just like lean into it and embrace the change. And you're going to be doing it for two or three months. And every agent you know is going to be asking you how, how, how you're doing it. I, I promise you. All right. JC, you're good. Cool, cool. So we've already had a lot of people chatting in that they've ordered your book, so we're excited to hear. Yeah. Um, we grabbed a couple copies as well. I was at a, an event recently in Louisville, Kentucky, shout out Real Estate Distilled, um, was there and saw a lot of people there had it too. So we were excited uh, to see your book out and about. Um, so some good questions here that we have coming in, Dustin. Um, where did you find your videographer? So... There's a there's an old Steve Jobs quote about recruiting where he talks about like find people that are doing good work and just go recruit them. And that's what I did is like whoever is doing the best video in your market, um, especially like the talking head videos, like that's just one part of it. Um, hire them, um, like reach out to them. Who are you using? Um, and then for our property videos, whoever's doing the best property videos in your market that the, the agent is in, hire that guy or girl. And, and when you hire them, ask them like, hey, I have an idea separate, like do a regular property video with them first and say, I have an idea. Would you be willing to do this? And the beauty of like the direct response commercial is like, you know, the city you live in. And I can promise you, this is an investment that you should be willing to make in your business because like, how beautiful is it when you can walk to a listing? How beautiful is it when you don't have to drive 20 miles to go put brochures out? Like when everything is in your city and you know it like the back of your hand, it is amazing. And I encourage you to do it somewhere where you're gonna be seen regularly because it's just an extra touch and an extra frequency. If they're seeing your ads and then they see you out and about in the community. A, a good example is we always do like a, a breakfast with Santa and we do uh, an Easter egg hunt. And at the breakfast with Santa event this year, a woman came in, went straight to my wife and said, Oh my God, thank you guys so much for doing this. I see your videos all the time. I, I want to, I want you guys to sell my house. And my wife has it under contract pending right now. 
but when she sat, sat down with them, you know, if you can't tell, I'm a little bit long winded. So like we're going up, we're ready to go over all the marketing and explain and educate every everything. And she's like, hey, you guys don't need to do all this. Like, I already know. I see everything. Like, don't even worry about it. There was not even a pushback on commission. Everything was good. Um, and that's why it's like whenever you're running these ads and then you're yeah, that same audience, even if it's a property in another city, is then seeing those video ads. It's like additional proof of concept. Yep. Yep. Becoming micro famous, like we talked about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a couple more questions that we have. So um, we'll be sending out the recording via email later this afternoon for everybody um, to see. But people are wanting to know specifically how they're be how they're going to be able to see your videos again, so that they can rewatch them. Um, if you DM me, um, if you DM me here, I promise I'll get back to everybody by the end of the day. Um, you can add me on Instagram. Send me a DM here and I'll send you the slides. Like I had, I, for whatever reason, like people think I'm good at technology, I can't get ManyChat to work. Like it worked for like two weeks and then stopped working. So you can DM the word slides to me and I will manually send you the slides by this evening. And then it'll have all these videos. Awesome, and we'll make sure to link that QR code too in our email that goes out with the recording, that way everybody has them too. Okay. Um, let's see, couple more questions. Um, what's currently your best ROI with your current lead providers um, through social media? So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, et cetera. Well, overall, um, the best the best ROI for our business is obviously sphere of influence. Um, and then after that, it's Google local service ads because we have so many reviews. And then after that, it's 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 YouTube, like in third place. So YouTube is so strong because like I am very, very listing focused because like you'll see when you see the slides, like the way we're doing the open houses where we have a we always have every open house catered or we have a food truck and we send the video ad out to the neighborhood and we send a letter out to the neighborhood inviting them to the food truck. It's not enough to just like do a food truck. You've got to get people to show up. Um, but when they're seeing your videos and then they see the food truck um the word starts to spread that you're going all out for everything so um that's why the youtube is so powerful is like i we can always get we we average about 2.3 to 2.5 additional transactions that off of each listing so the listings are so valuable yep that totally makes sense so another question here i'm going to try to make this I'm gonna to try to read this correctly. Um, so it says, our team website is a large city site, Big City USA. Um, this person works with many other smaller cities, neither the suburbs, that sort of thing. Um, they say, when we do a suburb, it redirects to our big city site and we have a small city site on our website too. Is that okay for running the ads? Basically, they're wanting to make sure that anything they're running targeting the suburbs is redirecting back to the suburbs. Um, and that it's not redirecting them back to their their larger metropolitan area that they're in. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to redirect them from YouTube to whatever website, whatever single page that you want to send them to. Now, once they get to your page, it's up to them to bounce around. And that's why I like sending them to my Sierra page, because sometimes they're just like, "Ooh, pretty house. I want to click this. And they just like, "Ooh, I want to see pretty house. Uh, I want to see photos. And then once they're in your website, they start bouncing around and searching for what they're actually looking for versus if you send them to a single property website and they don't have the accessibility to shop around in the IDX, um, you want to know, you want them to kind of shop around, even though they're coming in off of a suburb or city specific, you want them to be able to surf around so you have visibility in your CRM of what they're shopping for. Yep, totally makes sense. So you're capturing them with the ad that you have running and then they're coming on your site and you're able to track all of their activity on your site to see what yeah. they're actually looking for and what they're really doing. I know I'm guilty of that. I click on the really big house down the street because I want to see the inside and I want to see their views. And then that's way out of my price range. So I bounce back to where I'm actually able to buy and uh, quit dreaming about the big mansion down the street. But I, so. I want to be, I want to like, um, I don't want to over promise and under deliver. So on these ads, they are not huge lead generators. So when I say like, what will happen is, is you're going to run them, especially those target frequency ads, 
And within six to 12 months, you're going to have somebody that just calls you because your phone number is on the ad. They're going to just call you and say, like the one that I just sold, like in center, another one that we just sold in Centerville, the guy called me. It's like a grumpy old man. He was like, I just had an open door at my house and these SOBs, they offered me one price and then they came back later, said another price. And I said, you guys are bait and switch. And then I saw your commercial and I said, I'm going to have you out here. And I met with them and, you know, we, we beat whatever the price was that open door was offering, but like, I wouldn't have had that opportunity had he not seen my commercial. And he's like, it seems like ever since I saw it, I see it every day now. And I'm like, that's the idea. And that's what we're going to do for your house. Like we're going to make sure everybody sees your house that way. So I love that. That's awesome. It's like the car that you want, right? Like as soon as you're thinking about buying a new car, you suddenly see it everywhere. Yep. And it's just like that with your with your face and getting your brand out there because kind of like Tom Ferry always said, as the agent that you know, right? You like and trust because you're building rapport with them through the screen and through the content that you're putting out. So that's a really great point. So, um, hold on one second. And I will say this goes not just for your YouTube ads, um, but also for your Google local service ads. Um, this is going to come across maybe slightly chauvinistic. And I'm sorry, guys. Um, like I was in the business for 18 months before Devin, um, we're both equal partners, been married. We've been together for 26 years. So I like, you know, Google local service ads, you're only allowed to put one photo. You can't do a logo for your Google local service ads. So it was me and I, me being the split tester. I took myself off and put my wife up. We got three times the phone calls. My wife's videos, when I split test, if the video starts with her versus it starting with me, it gets almost double the clicks. So um, if, if if you're a guy and if you work with a woman, uh, it, it may be something that you want to consider. That's such a fair point. Such a fair or, point. you know, if you're a guy and you just look better than me, maybe you'll get more clicks. I have no idea. <laughs> so we have a couple more questions. We have two minutes left here, Dustin. Um, so um, in regards to uh, the content that you're putting out in your ad. So we had a question from Matt. He's, he's wondering if um, since soon, um, due to kind of the NAR settlement stuff, if um, we won't be able to advertise commissions on the MLS, are you going to be including any of that in your video content? No, no. I mean, I think the reality is, is like you could try to like put it on a single property website. You're not, you're not going to be able to put any coded messages in the MLS. Like we're just going to have to get used to the reality of like, we're going to do like a text this like in the agent only remarks, we're going to say text this number to this number that takes them to our single property website. And then the commission will be on a single property website. Um, or we were talking about parking specific emails in our Google workplace of like e uh, listing one at Fox Homes team, listing two at Fox Homes team. And we say email this number for any uh, email, email this email address for any questions about this property in the agent only remarks. And then as soon as they email them, it does an auto reply with all of the information, including the commission. Um, uh, but that's only if people follow instructions. You're still going to get 50 people texting you or calling you and, and asking you what the commission is. And it, it's OK. It is what it is. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Well, Dustin, I know we had a ton more questions that we didn't get to. So thank you guys for participating. The The response to this was incredible. Dustin, I hope you were able to see all the shout outs that you were getting um, in the chat box because people really, really love this content. So thank you everybody for attending. Um, we really appreciate it. And we'll be sending out the recording later this afternoon via email. So keep an eye out for that. We'll make sure to include Dustin's links for his book as well as his, as his Instagram here, but don't forget to reach out to him if you're looking specifically for video examples. So so thank you, everyone. Dustin, thank you so much. I think we need to do a part two on this or something at some point, because it seems like we had a lot of interest. And I know I learned a ton um, as we're looking to kind of ramp up our YouTube advertising on the Sierra side ourselves. So thank you so much for everything, as always. Of course. And guys, you guys are already DMing me. So, you know, if you run into a speed bump, just send a screenshot to my DM and I'll answer your question. I'll always get back to everybody within 24 hours. So like, I just want to encourage you to watch the video, get the book, watch the video, watch this video where I show you step by step. Don't pay anybody to do this for you um, because, the, you know, it, it's not necessary. You can do it on your own. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Justin. We appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We hope you have a great Tuesday. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.